What is up people, this is Vyas Sishkin in this video I'll be talking about power supplies for mining. Now in the market there are mainly two types of power supplies. One are the normal ATS power supplies and the other ones are the server power supplies. So for mining I would prefer server power supplies over ATS power supplies. There are two reasons. One being the price. This is the biggest factor. Now if you look at this mining power supply kit it would range from about 68 to $75. And if you look at the normal ATX power supply for the same 1200 watts, it's about $329. So about 75% reduction in power. And the next being the efficiency. So normal power supplies are about at about 80%. And these power supplies, they are efficient at about 90%. Also, server power supplies were made for 24-7 usage. And our normal ATX power supplies, they were not made for that. Hence, these would last a bit longer and are way cheaper than that. So, the best place to get these would be either eBay or Alibaba. Now, all the links I'll be showing it in this video are from Alibaba and I'll be linking them down in the description. So if you want to buy them, check those out. So if you look at the individual components, so the first thing that is uh, the main power supply. So HP makes them and these are quite cheap at about $38.99 or, or about $39 per piece. And if you buy these in bulk, you even get a price reduction. So these power supplies are not normal and a breakout board has to be bought with these. So if you look closely at the power supply, it's about 1200 watts and is made by HP. The back with the fan blowing into the power supply and the power connector. And the front has these copper plates or these copper liners and these are the main areas from where the power would be distributed. These are quite thin and uh, are a bit longer. So keep that in mind before buying these. Also, these uh, power supplies are loud. So if you plan on buying these, make sure you are okay with noise. Because these sound like jets. The next thing that you'll need is a breakout board. So there are two types of breakout boards. One is this flat one and other one is the 90 degree rotated one. Both are the same thing, just that these are more expensive than these. One of the reason being that this breakout board, this specific one, it only comes, comes as a breakout board. And the other one, it comes with the cables as well. That is these 10 cables and the breakout board. So if you look closely at the breakout board, it has six pin connectors and a connector for the power supply that is which connects at this area or this location. And it also has a power switch. Same goes for this power supply, except the power switch is on the back and has three modes. So that sums up the breaker boards. Next is this, the Pico, the Pico PSUs. Now what these will do is that this would power the motherboard. As if you have seen over here, these power supplies do not come with 24-pin uh, connectors and hence these would be required. So how these would work is that this cable, the 6-pin one would connect to the breakout board and from there the power would go into the 24-pin converter or the PSU. And from the PSU come out, uh, comes out the cables which would be connected to the CPU power and for the SSD or hard disk that you are using. Here is a visual representation of how it would connect. Next are the connector cables. So these connector cables, these are um, male 6 pin to 6 plus 2 pin cables. And these come in a set 
So from one six pin, they would be split into two six plus two pins. Now keep in mind that most uh, most GPUs they would be about hundred and thirty to hundred and fifty watts, except for the ten eighty Ti's and the ten eighty's, and hence you can use these cables to connect one PSU per cable. Sorry, one GPU per cable. These would be beneficial as you can connect the GPU as well as the riser using the same cable. And hence, there would be a lot less clear, uh, cable clutter to zip tie. These are the other ones. Now, as we saw over here, that these uh, that this breakout board comes with its own cables and if you look at these these are uh, six pin to six pin cables both side males and hence if you want to split them you will need a you will need a cable like this so this cable it takes in one side is a female part of the six pin and the other side is the male six plus two pins and hence these would be used to connect to the gpu and the riser and then comes the last one that is a combination of all these except for the pico psu now if you look at the price it almost comes out to be exactly the same as the individual ones and hence i would recommend this as you won't have to go to multiple suppliers and one supplier would be able to provide them all this kit comes with the power supply, the breakout board, and the cables. This is how it is mounted. And one good thing with these power supplies, that is the server power supplies, is that you won't be needing a power switch or, or a reset switch. To turn these on or to link them, all you need to do is connect them, connect them to one strip of the of power and just turn the power on and, and these will turn on. So that's it for this video. So thank you people for watching this video. Like the video or dislike it, subscribe to the channel, share it. Go through my other videos and see you next time. Ta-da!